Hi, this is Bytrogen. Today's topic is about the Poisson disk sampling. Imagine that you are a game designer and you want to place trees on the game map. How do you do that? You can set these tree positions randomly, but trees can be spawned too close to each other. How can you prevent this from happening? There is a very ineffective way to do it by selecting a random position from the map and for each new tree position you can measure the distance between the new tree and every other existing tree and if there is any tree that is too close select a new random tree position. This has to be done for every tree. As you can see this algorithm is a waste of time. Thankfully, we have the perfect algorithm for this, thanks to this paper by Robert Britson. First of all, the code for this and the explanation that I'm about to make are mainly inspired by these two videos that are made by these two perfect channels. You should probably check them first. The first step is making a special grid for our screen. It is going to help us to check if any point is too close to our candidate point. Well, how do we determine the cell size of this grid? We need a radius and we calculate the cell size of this grid out of this radius value. The next step is this. Add an initial point to the active list. The active list means a list of points that can be used for spawn points. Then we select a random spawn point from the active list and try to generate a new candidate point in the bagel shaped area that is around the spawn point. After this we need to check if this candidate valid or not. It can be outside of our grid or too close to an existing point. If not we add this new point to the active list and the points list. The good thing about this algorithm is, we don't need to load through every existing point or pixel. Remember that we prepared a grid for our region. We are going to use it now. We only need to check the neighbor cells. If one of the neighbor cells in this 5x5 area includes a point, we need to discard our candidate. And then, we cannot find a valid candidate after a certain number of trials we need to discard this spawn point from our active list. If you set this number of trials too low, there may be huge gaps in the region. And if we set this number too high, it will get slower. We set this number to 30 because it was the number in the original paper. This is the whole algorithm. Now it's time for some tests.